So, this is going to be a how to video on how to tie a bow tie. And I've chosen a striped bow tie with a lighter colored shirt. What I'm trying to attempt is to have some type of contrast added to direction of line so that you can see where the folds of the tie sort of meet and what actions in the knot tying need to take place. Anyway, I'm featuring a lay down collar shirt which normally in formal wear bow ties are accompanied by a wingtip collared shirt which have no covering on the neck and just a couple of triangles that will force the bow tie forward. Anyway, um, whenever I do tie a bow tie though, especially with a lay down collar, I flip the uh, collar up. This will give you some added uh, stability when you're holding your bow tie and also just lets you see the working area better. So, what you do is you take your even tie and you want to kind of skew it. So you have the short end up high and a longer end. Now the longer end is going to be doing most of the action and this is just going to be sort of like your stable end. So, you're going to cross the long end over that short end and kind of bring it to the uh, base of where that fish shape starts to begin on the shorter side of the bow tie. Okay, What you're going to do is pinch right there between your thumb and index finger. And when you pinch there, you're then going to take the long end behind your thumb and up like that. Do this. Anyway, so continue pinching that area. You'll notice I've tucked the bow tie up into the collar. That's what I was talking about before by giving you a, a, a added stability. Anyway, you'll see there's a small hole right here. That's what you're creating by having it go behind the tie there. So you're going to transfer your thumb into that hole and keep pinching with your opposite hand. Then you're going to take this fish you're going to fold it in half right here, putting the pinch of that tie in the center. Notice the pinch there in that fish shape, sort of where the tail would begin. You're going to put that in the center, and this is going to initially create that shape of the bow tie. So continue pinching, holding that end there, and then you're going to bring the long end down and over. So. kind of like that. Now you'll see you'll have a folded side and you'll have a straight side. What we're going to attempt to do now is fold this part in half and tuck it through that hole that we've created, that hole back here, and push the folded end back through that hole so it's behind this front tie. All right. So bear with me as I attempt to do the most difficult part of the bow tie. This takes some dexterity and it's also going to feel kind of awkward as you're forcing that folded side through. Some people recommend actually pinching the bow tie and pulling it forward. That certainly helps. It just um, it just can be a little less for your it, you know, a little more work for one hand to be pulling that tie rather than having two hands working it through the knot. So anyway, once you get it through, you'll actually start to see the shape of a bow tie taking place. So the back end might need a little finesse, either twisting it one direction or the other. At this point, you have the essential pieces of a bow tie. You'll have the knot in the front and the butterfly shape. What's interesting about bow ties, especially self-tie bow ties, is they will always be unique. Each one will be different every single time you tie it, and it's part of that uniqueness that actually stands out in a crowd and shows you other people in a formal situation that you have a self-tied bow tie rather than just something that you was bought off the rack, stitched by a machine, and then just velcroed to your neck. Anyway, 
All bow ties will have a folded end and a straight end, and they'll be opposite of each other. If the folded end is in front, the straight end will be in the back, and on the other side, the reverse, straight in the front, folded in the back. Now it's good to remember that, because when you're tying, you don't want to stuff the straight side through the hole if it's going to give you a straight side and a straight side, because you won't create a knot. It'll actually just unfold right in front of you, and it's a lot of hard work wasted. So, the way this works is like, like a shoestring, you're going to pull on those bows, the loops, essentially, it'll tighten that knot. You then can hold the knot and sort of readjust the, uh, the tie itself to help you get a better shape, a better style. So, if you ever need to tighten the knot itself, you're going to find the loose end of, on your neck and you're going to pull there. So, it'll then tighten that knot. Likewise, it'll also make one of your folds a little different. So it'll take some adjusting and some finesse to find the right shape that you prefer, the way that you want it to look. Then, once you've gotten the tie that you like, on the back you'll find a sliding uh, mechanism, much like that of a strap of a suspender, and you can actually choose to just kind of tighten it a little extra bit so that it's more, uh, more close to your neck on the, uh, on the shirt and that'll, that'll make it so you don't have to uh, choke yourself while you're tying it. Anyway, at this point, you then can fold the collar down, and then adjust the tie itself, loose or not, <laughs> so that it sits higher on your neck. There you go. And that is how to tie a bow tie.